Okay, this is the uh, Super Jewel Ringer 3.0 circuit. So, I've been doing a lot of testing, a lot of experimenting, and it's led to this. This is a refinement over the uh, 2.0 circuit. And uh, this can drive incandescence really well. I've got an LED on here right now, but we'll move to some incandescence later in the video, uh, as well as halogen bulbs and other things. Um, just a few things to point out. What the, the main difference, if you look at this on a schematic, is that the, uh, the load, you see we're coming off the uh, coil here, we got our load, and then we, we're coming to the collector. Um, in the previous schematic, the 2.0 schematic, we'd always come over to the emitter and tie into the emitter or the negative uh, lead off the battery. Now I'm coming to the connector. So before it was like this, it was actually always a bit of a trick to get the circuit to start. You'd have to tap it in the right place to just to get to start. Now what I've done is I've returned to the um, collector and it runs a lot brighter. It's much more noticeable uh, brightness intensity on the incandescence as well. And now it self starts. So if you just um, screw in any bulb or flip the uh, switch on the circuit, it starts. If you disconnect the load, it goes to zero amp draw. Just completely shuts off. So that's really nice. Um, the other thing that's uh, new on this one is the transformer. This is the easiest to make transformer I've ever uh, created. I, I used to build a lot of these uh, as air cores. Um, even in the uh, Super Jewel Ringer 2.0 video, I show a few of those. What I did in this one is I just wound it directly on a ferrite rod. And I'll put a link to these rods. These rods are on eBay, but this worked really well. If you notice, this is running quietly, major plus. It does make some ringing when we go onto the incandescence, but you can run your LED bulbs nice and bright and uh, very, very quiet. Um, but very easy to wind. Uh, so I've got the magnet wire, and I put one layer of that on first, just from the tip to tip, just one solid, nice, even winds, one solid layer of that. I came back over it with 14 gauge uh, electrical wire from Lowe's and uh, just one more layer. And in this case, I did wind it on the same direction. But that's it. And uh, that creates a great little uh, transformer for this uh, jewel ringer circuit. So, so what I've got here, I've got my, uh, my little battery here powering this uh, circuit. I've got a um, NPN. 2N 3055 transistor right here. And I'll, I'll post an updated schematic as well as uh, any links to parts on my website. But now let's, uh, let's do some of the fun stuff here. So we've been running this uh, LED. Let's go ahead and, and try an incandescent. So we'll go here with just a uh, nice incandescent bulb. You can see it lights right up. Nice, nice and bright. Hurts to look at it. It's hot. And uh, you can hear a little bit of ringing now. But um, one of the neat things about this circuit in this current configuration, I'll get a smaller incandescent here to show you. It resonates down at very low input voltage. And um, to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, I hope this shows up on the camera. I'm going to take a 1.5 volt battery here. And you'll probably be able to hear this. Let me see if I can, uh, can bring this up where you can see it. This bulb is actually uh, lit off a 1.5 volt battery. So this circuit is very, very useful in that you can drive it with a higher voltage for brighter intensity, but it will oscillate down at a very, very low uh, voltage. So, I'm really excited about that. Let me uh, switch over to a uh, halogen bulb here. This one, I hope it shows up on the camera. This one is really bright. It is just a lot of light from this bulb here, folks. But uh, again, it's such a simple circuit. And uh, the variety of lights we can run now, the fact that we don't have to tap anything to uh, get it to start, and the fact that it's still a super simple circuit. Um, it's just a single transistor. And uh, this super simple uh, core uh, transformer now. I mean, this thing is so easy to wind. You can wind one of these up in, in minutes. Um, all the others were fairly complex. But this seems to combine the best of the air core and also the uh, all the good properties of the ferrite, if not even better performance. Um, obviously, with incandescence, much better performance. So one other thing I'll show you here. 
we can also light up the uh, CFLs. And uh, before that was always kind of a trick to get the uh, Ringer 2.0 to light up any of these, but I've had uh, no trouble at all lighting up CFLs. So pretty much anything you throw at it, um, as well as lighting a lot of these bulbs in parallel. Um, I've lit more than one of these incandescent bulbs. So obviously this is really exciting to me. Um, you just get any little battery pack and uh, this is um, running at, I think this is around a 14 volt pack. But this, this will run, as you saw, from anywhere from about a volt on up. I mean, I've, I've cranked this thing with 70 volts into it and have these bulbs so bright uh, you can't even look at them. So, very versatile circuit. Um, wow, this is really, really hot. It's actually going to, uh, to start to burn the table if I don't turn it off. So I'll go to, to uh, there's this little LED bulb, just to show the versatility of this. You know, you screw in a bulb and for the most part they seem to just be lighting up, so. Anyway, I'm, uh, I'm just really happy with this version of it. Like I said, I'll post up a schematic. I've got some ideas uh, using larger ferrite cores. Um, I'm going to do some serious experimenting with this and uh, see what, what we can do with this. But I really love the simplicity, the portability of this unit. This can be made very, very small and compact. Um, I've got it all spread out here so you can see it. But this is it, folks. Small uh, battery in this case. But uh, it's got plenty of uh, juice to run this circuit. So. Yeah, so here's, again, the components, battery, transistor, transformer, and it's just a single ferrite rod, one layer, um, the initial layer, the, the fine magnet wire, and then over it with 14 gauge, and that's it. So just wanted to post this update. Let's all keep experimenting. Um, if I come across any other refinements, I'll post that, but I'm getting ready to do some real practical uh, work with this particular circuit now that I can run the, the incandescent bulbs uh, so well as well as the LED and everything. So this was a, an exciting turn of events for me. There had been a lot of predictions uh, from a lot of folks out there that this is as good we, as we would get, that we'd really run uh, LED bulbs with a circuit like this, and that would be about it. But it would never really have a practical life uh, running incandescents or, or others. So the fact that we can run these uh, halogen bulbs, I find really fascinating as well. And I want to get some larger. These are the only ones I had on hand, and they're like a 60 watt equivalent, but I want to get some of the larger halogen bulbs and see, uh, see what we can do with that. But anyway, with components this small, uh, I actually could easily put, put this battery, um, this transformer, and this transistor all inside a power strip and make an actual functional uh, AFP device like I keep releasing on April 1st. So it's now possible to... Uh, to create a very compact, small, portable unit and, uh, and get serious, serious light out of it. So, Super Jewel Ringer 3.0, that's it folks. Keep experimenting.